um, another clip from Friends, which is named the final scene of Friends fun English English lesson. In this clip has two parts. The first part is about the last scene when everyone have to leave the apartment they, that they used to live together. A lot of emotion, a lot of feeling happening at that moment. Monica almost cries, almost cries, and Chandler talked to his two little babies. You know, this is, look around, this is your, the first home filled with love and laughter. But because of the cheap rent control, because of the rent control, it was a freaking steal. In this park, uh, Chandler does not used to use the word fucking steal because it is um inappropriate for the kid. So in English, there is some ways to avoid using cursing word like what the heck other than what the hell, freaking or freaking other than fucking uh, shoot other than shit etc. And uh, when Phoebe mentioned that, that one or another time, all of them used to live together, and Josh said, no, I'm not. I have been in, in that situation. And Monica raised up the, uh, I mean, Monica mentioned the, the, the situation when Ross uh, want to make it as a dancer. So everybody was laughing at Ross and him emphasize that uh, we make it for 10 years without coming up this topic in the conversation. In the sec second shot of the clip, uh, this cast now, they, they are older, uh, they are almost 50, and I, I believe that they are under more than 50 years old, and they were asked to gather together. Uh, at the beginning, um, Joey think that it is just a gathering, but he does not he doesn't take into account that everyone uh, were, were asked to be on the set with the same thing, with familiar scene, everything, and it's very emotional to him. Uh, and people say that, and Shayla mentioned that um, during the, after the show, whenever they pumped, pumped, that, pumped in another one uh, at anywhere, they will have to apologize with the, apologize to the people they are with because they will spend the whole night with that person. Uh, that's a special situation. So let's dive into the clip and learn the way um, American Navies, Native Americans um, speak English uh, and a lot of ways of using words, vocabularies in a funny way to learn English. Has it always been purple? Has it? Here, Joey doesn't uh, doesn't pronounce clearly it, it, but has it? Has it always been purple? But he wants to mention that um, the situation that is always been purple. So he stressed on that word very clear. Has it? Has it always been purple? Joey gave a dramatic pause after saying it and put a lot of emphasis on always. Has it always been purple? Has it? The T in it turns into a clarity. T. E, e, has it, has it? Now, if Joey didn't emphasize always, it probably would have connected to it. Has it always, has it always been purple? So instead of making the T into a clarity, it would have a, become a flap T. It always, has it, has it always been purple? Compare how I say eaten it with connected speech to how Joey said it. Eaten, has it always been purple? Has it always been purple? But for Joey, has it always been purple? Has it always been purple? Let's watch an example in which we have this flap T plus vowel combination. Listen to Phoebe pronoun pronouncing the words talk and up. Oh yeah, a song with rhyme words. Oh, I never thought of thought of that before, thought of that before. In American English, this usually happens when a T um, is between two vowel sounds, whether in the same word or different words. Butter, water, cat and dog, it always thought of. And it was a happy place filled, filled with love and laughter, filled with love and laughter. When something is filled with something else, it is full of that thing. In this case, Chandler is telling his babies that the apartment was a happy place, filled with or full of love and laughter. 
uh, a more advanced phrase is fraught with, but this is usually used to talk about bad things. Fraught with. We had to walk in the middle of the night and the dark road was fraught with danger. But more important, because of rent control, it was a freaking steal. Rent control is a government program that limits the amount of landlord the property owner can charge to rent a house or apartment. It's a program intended to keep living costs affordable for families who don't have a lot of money. In cities like New York, as you can imagine, this kind of program is not uncommon. When Shannon says that the rent was a steal, he means that it was extremely cheap. You can call something a steal to express that something is being offered or sold at a very low price. A similar word to express that something is very cheap is bargain. Did you see that Shanley uses the word freaking before steal? But he also uses this word to avoid using the word fucking, which would be a more informal, offensive, ag aggressive way of saying this. Since he's talking to his children, he doesn't say it. It was a fucking steal, but it was a freaking steal instead. We call this an euphemism. It, its main purpose is to lessen the impact of a bad word. Or someone who doesn't like cursing using bad words. Check out these examples. You are so freaking talented. Other than you are so fucking talented. Son of a gun. Not son of a bitch. What the heck? Not what the hell? We just will have to think of something else. What to do? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Other than shit. And, and you try to make it as a dancer. In this context, to make it a, a dancer means A, to become a successful professional dancer. To make it also means to go through a difficult or challenging situation successfully. Do you realize we almost made it 10 years without that coming up? Here we have the words make it again, but now they have a different meaning. Ross is saying that they almost spent 10 years without anybody knowing his past as a dancer. Here's another example. When a topic comes up in a conversation, it's talked about or mentioned. No, we are not. We will not wait that long to get up together. Why did not it take into account was being back on the set? To take something into account means to take into consideration or to think about it. Another interesting and advanced use of the word account is on account of, on account of. On account of means because of. You can say it when trying to explain the reason for something, on account of. If one of us bumped into, pumped into each other, uh, that was it, that was the end of the night. As you can see in this example, Matthew says, one of us, one of us, and end of the night, end of the night, end of the night, end of the night, all night long, and that was it. That's true, I remember. Whenever they met each other at, either at a party or social event, they would spend the whole night together. What is the now form of the verb to laugh? Laughter. Replace the word hell in the phrase what the hell by using an euphemism. What the heck? Which phrase is used to express the idea that someone becomes successful at a profession to make it. Okay, that's it.